despite the devastation. Yes, yes, I actually was born on this street here, a few houses down, and I grew up over here. LeBryant Knight knows exactly where everything was. Well, houses, uh, this was a store. This was the neighborhood laundry mat. This is where people paid their bills. Knight took shelter in his mom's room in their town of Rolling Fork with her, his nieces, and nephew as the storm hit around 8 p.m. Debris flying, hitting us in the face. I just covered them, grabbed them, and was hoping we didn't fly away. But as soon as I say that, 10 seconds later, everything was over. Over for Rolling Fork, but that was just the beginning of the storm's devastation, tearing across the state, hitting one community after another for an hour, then forming another devastating tornado more than 250 kilometers away from where it started. This was inside the Amory High School as the storm blasted above. Experts say a tornado lasting that long is exceedingly rare. It was some of the most frightening radar images I've seen. Uh, each storm is unique, but you know, on average, yeah, 10 minutes is the, uh, is the time it's on the ground. So this is unusual. The storm hit some of the state's poorest areas. If you're in the path, it's a danger. And if you don't have good housing, it's a real danger. The death toll so far, more than two dozen, including Robert Lee. Kind person, very bubbly spirit, outgoing, wonderful teacher. Along with grieving, thoughts of what comes next. We won't forget it, but we'll, we'll get back to a, a normal state, hopefully. A long process for many, as the year's tornado season is just beginning. Susanna Da Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.